The Calm Before the Storm. Little did I know, this was the day that the core of my trail family came this together. Could be the moment we've the been brunch for the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk this, nothing like we've ever seen. You see, this is just the beginning of the journey. As I endured one of the hotter days hiking along the trail, I had to stop and enjoy the little things. Just made it up to Melville and I'm at the shelter. I'll give you a look around. I want to show you um, the hiker text in between shelters. So pretty standard, has a picnic table, somebody's built a fire pit, and in the shelter, most of them, if not all, have a journal. Like I just pulled it out of this box here. We'll take it out here. Hey, in the journal, you just write whatever you want. So most people leave the date, and they'll leave you know, who they are, where they're headed, what's going on. And then you can kind of pass this along uh, messages that is to people behind you or people come from the other direction maybe there's bear activity maybe there's trail magic really close like this one says there's trail magic in the in the river which I'm guessing is beer a couple of days ago and uh, it's pretty cool this is kind of how hikers communicate out here if you don't have service so I'm gonna write in here JS hikes 52719 no bow, long trail, happy trails. After leaving my mark on the world with the journal, it was off to the next shelter so I could ice my knees and do the typical camp chores of preparing to rest for the night. Little did I know, the next day would be my toughest of the entire trek. My first 20 miler and my last day with Frankie, the person who invited me to do the long trail. The best part about this shelter, with AT&T I have service here, so I get to talk to my wife. Pretty cool. So we're just hanging out right now, about to hit the hay. The, the rain's gonna get pretty nasty tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. Push onward. Hopefully get about nine miles. Good night, folks. And we're off. Good morning, folks. It is about 6.30 right now, and we're hitting the trail. We got up at five, so we're, uh, we're off and hopefully make some time here. It's already starting to rain, so that's no bueno. It also makes it hard to film, and I didn't bring an umbrella because I didn't want to carry the weight, but I'm gonna stop complaining and start walking. Cue my kryptonite. 40 degrees with freezing rain all day. After what seemed like forever, I got a short break from the elements in a shelter, but then pushed on in misery. I gotta tell you, this has probably been the most miserable day of my existence. I mean, this sucks. It's been 40 degrees and raining the entire day. Just look at me. You see my feet? <laughs> they call it for mud for a reason. But I tell you what, <laughs> No, I, you can't make this stuff up. Check this out. Somebody left some trail magic here at an intersection for the road. Man, this is awesome. Like tonight for dinner, I guess I'm having a deli smoked roast ham, roast beef wrap. <laughs> and I've never even had one of these like packet gourmet meals. This has turned into a 20 mile day because I want to make it to town tomorrow. So, I'm gonna meet up with some other people at the next shelter. I still gotta climb a mountain. And it's 3.30 p.m. I gotta get going. Whew, thank God for trail magic. I need this to get through the day, no joke. So thank you, whoever left this. What a tough time. Very humbling. But you know what? The bad days make the good days better. 
about to dig into that backpacker's pantry meal that I picked up out of that box or out of that bucket. Oh, I hear this is a nice shelter. And this is it, my oasis for the night, where the rain broke and the brunch club began. I survived my toughest day on trail and was about to start a new leg of the journey with soon-to-be best friends.